Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy but absolutely luscious strawberry swirl cheesecake bar. The first thing I'm going to do is get started on the crust and for that I'm going to need graham crackers and I'm just breaking them into small pieces and I'm going to pulse it in my food processor until it just becomes a fine crumble. Now you can also do this by placing it into a ziplock bag and just breaking it up with a rolling pin. To the graham cracker crumbs I am adding white sugar and melted butter and this is going to bind it all together and form that crust that you're looking for. I will have the full recipe linked below in the description box. If you want to make this recipe, you can head on down and check that out. To a 13 by 9 baking pan, I've added parchment paper and then I am going to put the crust on top. Now the reason why I'm using parchment paper is so that once the bar has cooked, it's going to be easy to remove it from the pan. Using my measuring cup, I am going to press down the crust to form one even layer. You want to bake this in an oven preheated at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes and then set it aside to cool while you make the filling. To a bowl, I'm adding three packets of room temperature cream cheese and you want it to be room temperature because it's going to be easy to mix. Now I'm going to mix this with my hand mixer until it's nice and creamy. A lot of people are intimidated by making cheesecake and cheesecake really is one of the easiest recipes. It just requires a few ingredients and you have a tasty dessert. To the cream cheese, I'm adding three eggs and as you can see, I'm breaking them into a smaller bowl and I do this just in case if there's a shell in the egg or if something is wrong with the egg, then I haven't already added it to the mix. I've also added granulated sugar and I've used vanilla bean paste, but you can use vanilla extract as well. And I'm just gonna mix this all together until it combines and it's nice and smooth. You wanna stop about halfway through and just scrape around the bowl and all around the bottom as well because you don't want any chunks of cream cheese that's not mixed into the batter. You want the batter to be nice and creamy and smooth and that is why you use room temperature cream cheese. And look at all those beautiful flecks of vanilla in the batter. That is from the vanilla bean paste. And I am just adding the filling to the crust that we pre-bake and that we cool on the side. Look at how smooth and silky that is. This is gonna be so good. Be sure to scrape all of the excess out of the bowl. And as you can see, this was very easy to make. This right here is pretty much a plain cheesecake. I'm gonna go a little bit further and add some strawberry jam. But if you're looking for a plain cheesecake, this is it. Using my spatula, I am going to spread the cream cheese filling out evenly all the way to the ends and I'm just doing this gently because I do not want to disturb the crust that's on the bottom. This will be the perfect dessert for the upcoming Easter holiday. One of the best things about cheesecake is that it has to be made ahead so you can make this the day before, keep it in your fridge and then serve it the next day. On top of the cheesecake mixture, I am adding strawberry jam, which I have heated up in the microwave for about 30 seconds because I want it to be a little runny. And I've added dollops of the jam to the cream cheese mixture and using my knife, I am just gonna swirl it into the batter. And you wanna do this carefully, making sure not to go all the way to the bottom so you don't disturb the crust. Next, I'm gonna place this into the oven and let it bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. The center of the cheesecake is still gonna be a little bit jiggly and that is exactly what you want. Cool completely, then place into the refrigerator for at least four hours. This needs to cool. It's gonna taste best once it's cold. And I am removing the bars from the baking sheet. As you can see, this is why we use the parchment paper. It came in very handy. And I'm gonna cut the cheesecake into squares. And that's it. This is a very easy recipe that is so, so good. And you can see all of that strawberry jam swirled in between the cheesecake. You have that layer of graham cracker crust. It is absolutely delicious and it was a breeze to make. As mentioned before, if you're interested in making this recipe, it will be linked below in the description box and it's gonna lead you over to my blog, giancancook.com. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.